Alright, I don't want nobody to charge me for plagiarism, so I normally say where I get my stories from, right? So shout out to Newsbug Media for this one because <laughs> I'm going to share this one on my platform. But of course, you know how me do already me get a little extra sometime. So and add my own thing into it to make it spicy. You see me? The headline says she, she came back with her neck full of hickey and her chest full of hickey. I don't know a hickey. I don't know a hickey when somebody a kiss and suck on you. Eh? Kissing and sucking on your skin and it leaves corrugated blood. Blood standing in one place under the skin. It's called a hickey. Alright? This is a brother you say. I have a girlfriend and we are living together. In November, you know, she asks me if she could have go out and party. Now, me stop right there. So before we even go any further, why is she having to ask you if she can go to a party, sir? My wife not ask me nothing, you know. My wife does coordinate with what is going on and she let me know what events are taking place in her life and I accommodate. I'm not her daddy. So she not have to ask me permission to go anywhere. Likewise, she's not my mother, so I don't need her to sign the permission slip or anything like that. I coordinate with her in case she has things planned, so may not frig up the family plans. But anyhow, I have a girlfriend and we're living together and in November she asked me if she could go to a party and I told her yes. But I was not interested in going because I was feeling very tired. <laughs> I am a security guard and sometimes to make a little money, extra money, I would do a little double shift on them thing there. But a double shift in a one is a serious thing in a one. So I have four children with two different women. Two for one, two for the next one. I am into sharing evenly. But I don't have any children with this girl that I am living with now. I don't know what that has to do with anything. Is she taking care of the four children? Do they live with you? And you have this woman taking care of four children that is not hers and she don't have none with you? I don't understand the part of the story, but anyhow. If that is the case, then trouble did there from morning. Alright? Alright. The man says he's a security guard and him work double shift sometimes to make some extra money because I have a whole heap of picnic. Okay, me get it now. She left for the party at about 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock at night, you know, she had left for go party. Which good self-respecting woman had left her yard 10 o'clock at night? Left her man lay down in a bed, dress up nice, nice, but she had go party. 10 o'clock at night. Hmm? After you're not Daima. After you're not Renee 630. After you're not one of the dance hall queen and dancers, then you don't make your money in the dance hall. Where you are go 10 o'clock at night? But anyhow, party life without your man to. Okay, she left, 10 o'clock at night, I was at work, she called me, she told me she was leaving, I told her, alright babes, and enjoy yourself here, make sure you enjoy yourself. I did not get home until the next morning, but during the night, at about 3 o'clock, I called to find out if she had gone home or gotten home yet. Remember, she left at 10, you know. So it will take her a little while to reach the party. So she reached the party at 10, 30, 11. So 11 to 12, 12 to 1, 1 to 2, 2 to 3, 4 hours. Turn up and wind up on them something there. Long time that, whole heap of time for party till you're tired. You're back weak, you want to go home. Go sit down now, don't? Alright, he calls at 3. Reasonable time. Babes should be leaving the party by now or anything like that. She didn't answer the phone. She didn't answer the phone. But, an hour after that, she called me back and told me things swinging and that she's staying longer. And I told her, okay. She said the party turned up and she eat your wine down low and she's not ready to go home yet. The man said, alright babes, enjoy yourself, have fun. An hour after him called and she no answer, no. she called back. <laughs> to say the party is hot and I'm staying a bit longer. The following morning, my God, when I got home, this red skin girl, she red skin. You know, for those of you who don't understand what Jamaicans mean by red skin, it don't mean say you're red, like the color red. That red, yeah. 
It means say you're red as in you are fair, lightly complected, light skin, light skin. You understand? So the man said, when I got home in the morning, this red skin girl had hickeys all over her neck. And she couldn't tell me how they got there. Because, you know, naturally, if you see your husband or your girl or your man or your woman come in with hickey, your question them is what that? What, wait there? I have three, four, five of them? Wait there, all gone down your chest? What, what happened? What's all that? Anybody with sense would, have, would, would, would say something. Wrong or right? All right. So he's asking her, how did they get there? Because I'm dumb. I'm play a player tripping. You understand? How did they get there? No, we all know how they got there. The question should be, uh, how much people put them there? Or was it a male or a female that put them there? That could all be the only other thing, right? <laughs> we, we all know how hickeys are made. It's like how our babies made mom. How our babies made dad. Anyhow, and she couldn't tell me how they got there. When I pressed her, she said, maybe it was the guys who held her up around her neck. When they were dancing. Hmm. Let me tell you something. Some of them dancing here with me see I go on in a dance hall. You see? When man grab woman. No lie. I've seen some dancing where I said to myself. I said. The girl they are going to her man. You know, she just dry boned. This brother. Yeah, completely. Anyhow you did remove the clothing. She would have breed. If she able for a picnic. And she's gonna go home to her man. Them kind of dancing there. Missing man grab woman by them neck from behind. One leg they way up your so up her shoulder. And I ride her like donkey, I crank her like old bike. You know when I try to start old bike. And I rudum rudum. I crank her like old bike. And she she taking it. Right? And this is called dancing. Mr. Uman run an acrobatic split in the ear and fly up a man and man catch them legs wide open. And just a spin with them, so. Like fun. <laughs> Yo! Did she tell the man, sir? She don't know how she got there. Maybe it's the way how the guys was holding her while they was dancing. Hmm. After I press her some more. He says, I know that that couldn't give a woman a hickey all over her neck. And even upon her chest. I told her to leave my house. Leave, leave. Now, she's spreading my name and telling everybody that the real reason why she left is because me no have no use. My thing popped on. Me can't put on the work like how she want it. She not tell the people them say, out of road she go, come in full up a hickey. And me catch her and ask her, she say about a man grapple her up so. She's telling the people that, me pop them, me not have no use. That's why she left. While she's telling people that, she's begging me behind the scenes to take her back. Please, let me move back into the house, please. But the people are coming and telling me what she's saying. People, on a please, give me some advice. Tell me what to do. May I read some of the comments? No. Here you are. Mr. Clark says, don't take her back. Bonner must stay out. Find somebody who respects and have dignity. David Masters says, oh, you mean tell you what to do? You do it already. You throw her out. That was what you were supposed to do. Next time, she will carry the man come in at your bed. So you stay there. <laughs> that, that was straight and to the point. The best one so far. The brother here said, oh, unruly Barb um, Taylor says, life goes on. She don't want you. It's the bonner man she want. Maybe she did only want you for the money, the stability, the security. And all that. She gonna continue to do what she want to do next. She's gonna come with which is your something is better. 
It's bet sometimes it's better to live a single life, she said. And next person, Kevin Hibbert, says, No youth, don't do it. Matthew Jones says, <laughs> A slapper. You can do better. Don't take her back. She lie and she can never be trusted. She will do it again further down the line. If you look, if you took her back, then good luck to you. Alright? Unruly Hyatt says, Don't take her back. Unless you is an idiot. Leave your comments in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about this one. And would you take this person back? Man, if it's a woman, would you take back your woman? Women, if this was your man, would you take him back? I'm going to close this video by saying this though. You see, when you work, them kind of work there where you alone are work. And you are do all the double shifts outside of the house. I never forget that Jerry Springer episode where the man said, I work 19 hours out of a 24 hour day just for you. Just to make sure you have everything you need. And it's the guy down the hall. They live in our apartment building and I'm man right next door. They live in an apartment two, I'm living in an apartment four. And the brother just wait till he goes out to work every day and just cross the hall, come mash up in business every single day. And the guy <laughs> so in other words then. Sometimes, you see, you work too hard and you take away all the responsibility from some people when they need to go hold a job too and make sure so you can only work one job and still be okay. If you're going to work two jobs and the person you with now work no job, it don't make no sense you're there with nobody because you have somebody else you got to take care of right now. You can keep your resources and stretch your dollar if you are by yourself. But some of you can't stay alone, so on a feel them pain here. It's so flow TV man, like, comment, share, subscribe. Leave your comments in the comment section below. I'm out. Peace.